like this. I have a plan why I called you. But if I speak to you audibly, you may not understand. But this is an opportunity for me to demonstrate to you the reason why I called you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then when the mother said to him that the wine finished, he said that he had no wine. Amen. Watch this. This is where I want to stop on this particular reading now. The mother of Jesus said to the disciples, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. Praise the Lord. Jesus didn't say, I am going to do something. He said, my time is not yet come. I am not here to perform any miracle. But he said, the woman went on and said to the disciples, anything he tells you to do, do it. Because this is the beginning of your call. He didn't say, if he said to you to do anything concerning the wine or the drink, he said, whatsoever thing, that woman was speaking concerning the marriage, but she didn't know that she was prophesying to the disciples because their time to execute the plan that God has for them has come. Was so everything at all that he asked you to do, do it. That means from today, obey his voice. From today, obey his commands. From today, obey whatsoever thing he asks you to do. Praise the Lord. Whatsoever thing he asks you to do, then go ahead and do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in doing whatsoever thing that God asks us to do, <laughs> is the chance and the opportunity that carries out the wonders that you desire. Is anybody with me? Yes, sir. Whatsoever Jesus tells you to do, do it. So in doing whatsoever God tells you to do, lies the wonders that you desire. Can I hear it from somebody? Yeah. Whatsoever thing that God asks you to do, that you do, is where your desire lies. That means obedience to do, obedience to act, obedience to follow, obedience to do, whatsoever thing that God asks you to do is the solution you are looking for, is the answer you are looking for, is the breakthrough you are looking for, is the miracle that you are looking for. Your desire in life lies in your obedience to do whatsoever thing that God said you should do. Can I hear it from somebody? Amen. As I call, there is something behind it that God wants to do for you. Amen. Amen. So whatsoever thing I ask you to do, do it. Not religiously, but believing that whosoever or he that has called you, or him being God who has called you, is faithful to do it. Amen. Amen. Is anybody with me? Yes, sir. In doing whatsoever that God has asked you to do, don't do it religiously. Do it believing that him who has called you, the same him is faithful to do it. In other words, do it by faith, believing that that God who has asked you to do this thing has something to offer or to perform. Praise the Lord. That is where the miracle is. That is where the breakthrough is. That is where the act of God is. Praise the Lord. It is time for God to act. Acting of God is his miracle. What is miracle? Miracle is the act of God upon our life. Come on here. Is anybody with me? When you ask to define miracle, miracle simply means the act of God upon our life. That is when God acts on our life, that's miracle. God cannot act in your life and something will not happen. When God acts in your life, you must see signs, you must see wonders. You must see signs, you must see wonders. Miracle is the act of God in our life. It is time for God to act. What is he going to act? 
He's going to perfect his miracles in our life. Can I hear amen from somebody? Amen. So whenever you are doing what God asks you to do, don't do it religiously, but rather do it believing that that same God who has called you to do whatever he has asked you to do, the same God is faithful to perform what he has said he will do. Amen. Amen. If you do yours, he does his. Amen. And everybody will be happy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So find what God has spoken concerning you. Amen. Amen. God has said something concerning me. He has said something concerning you. But I want to tell you that what God is saying concerning you today is that I have a plan in 2022, I have a plan. There's a plan of God in this, our ministry. There's a plan of God in Liberation Lima Chapel Ministries. And what is that plan? The plan of God in our church in 2020 is that we should impart on our world. That our being Christian, our existing here, our being the children of God, that we should also affect other people's lives. As we are children of God, as we are liberation members, we should also affect somebody else out there and then add the person to our congregation. Mark chapter 16. Why is God looking for you and I? Why is God want to use us? What are embedded in the plan of God? Because God wants to cover the world. Amen. Amen. They want to cover, they want to take over this world. Amen. Amen. Even though that the, the Bible says the end is of the Lord. Amen. I want you to watch, I want you to, to understand two things here. There are two things I want you to understand here. Alright? That number one is this earth. Somebody say earth. Yes. And the world. Alright? The earth and this world, the world and the earth are not the same. The Bible says the earth is of the Lord. God owns this earth. Nobody can drive it out of this earth. Amen. Amen. But Satan is the one that is ruling the world. God has already taken the earth, but he wants to conquer the world. And he wants to do it through you and I. Can I hear amen from somebody? Amen. Am I making sense here? Mark chapter 16 verse 15. I said unto them, go you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. amen. Go you into where? The world. You see the plan? When God 